Mohamed Morandi joins us now from Tehran and he is a professor at Tehran Ooh, University. Um, good to have you on the show. Thank you. Um, I've just read in the last hour that a newborn baby was diagnosed with the novel uh, coronavirus. That's very, very sad. Um, your assessment in general of Iran's response and why it took so long to have a lockdown? Well, Iran's uh, dealing with the virus was dependent upon its access to kits in the first place. Uh, because of the sanctions and because the Americans are actively trying to prevent Iran from accessing medicine, supplies and equipment to deal with the, uh, the coronavirus, uh, the Iranians obtained their first kit on the, I think, 17th of February. And the first person who was diagnosed with the virus was uh, discovered on, on February the 19th, two days later. And Iran declared it openly, publicly, on the very same day, despite the fact that it was right before the parliamentary election. And ever since then, the Iranians have had difficulty in obtaining kits. We still have difficulty obtaining kits, although Iranians are now producing their own. But the Americans have been very aggressive in trying to prevent Iran from dealing with the virus. They, they basically turned the virus for Iranians into a biological weapon. Why do you say that? Well, because the Americans uh, prevent Iran from importing uh, equipment, medicine, uh, the kits, uh, supplies to deal with the virus. All the banking sector is blocked. Pharmaceutical companies across the world have been warned by the Americans not to cooperate with Iran. They've been given so many conditions that the companies have said to Iran that we cannot deal with you. And this is intentional. The Americans, on the one hand, are saying we're not going to block them, but they set conditions where they can't work with Iran. So it's very clear what the Americans have been doing. Some countries have been helping Iran, especially China. But uh, Iran has, because of the sanctions, Iran has financial restrictions. Uh, so even the lockdown is very difficult because many Iranians, because of the difficult economic situation, it's difficult to keep them at home for a long period of time. So this is this economic warfare that the Americans are carrying out against ordinary Iranians is now being extended to its warfare that includes the coronavirus. In the past, the Americans have used this weapon to target Iranians through preventing Iran from importing medicine. But that would, that would kill ordinary Iranians. So, for example, there may have been a shortage of a particular medicine for cancer. Uh, but that would kill an Iranian. But what the Americans are doing now is that by putting pressure on Iran, trying to prevent Iran from, from success in the war against the virus, is that they're not only killing Iranians, but they are also allowing the virus to spread because the virus doesn't recognize borders. It doesn't, and uh, it doesn't recognize a class either or, or leaders. Um, many of uh, Iran's leaders have contracted uh, COVID-19 and at least uh, one has died. Uh, what do you see as the way out? Because Iran is still the worst hit uh, country in the Middle East. Well, we don't really know if Iran is the worst hit because Iran is, has from the very beginning been very open. Uh, the, it has, to a degree, uh, been contained. The numbers are no longer rising like they were before. And to be very blunt, when we compare what's going on in Iran to what's going on now in the United States and Europe, uh, I think that, uh, especially since they had much more time, remember, at least openly, it was Iran that declared uh, that it was, being, it was hit by the virus right after China. So if we assume that other countries, including Western countries, didn't know or didn't have the virus back then, they had a lot more time than Iran did to prepare themselves. But we see the catastrophic situation in Europe. So while the situation in Iran is difficult, while the United States is engaging in uh, economic warfare and it is, it is using through sanctions, the virus as a biological weapon. And this is not something, by the way, new to the Americans. The Americans and the Europeans are the same countries that gave Saddam Hussein chemical weapons to use against Iran. I'm a victim of chemical weapons. I survived two chemical attacks, and I'm actually very vulnerable to the virus. 
because of the effect that those chemical weapons have had on my lung, lungs. So when the Americans use sanctions to uh, help the virus grow in Iran, that sounds horrific, but this is not the first horrifying action of the United States towards Iranians. Mohammed Morandi, I wish we had a U.S. voice right now uh, to get their perspective. I'm actually American-born. Oh, excellent, excellent. Uh, well, <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, we do have the balance then. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it, and do stay safe for us.